good morning or afternoon it's definitely the afternoon so um me and the kid say hey dudes hi you hi me and the kid is about we're about to go pick up the stuff that we need so that way i can do this tutorial on how to make my soup or my rendition of one of the olive garden soups um so we're going to see y'all i'm letting the car warm up because right now it's like 61 degrees outside and it is pretty cold okay so um i know that's not cold cold but um being from chicago and then moving to houston i've got adapted to the houston weather so it is pretty cold here um I don't know why he's laughing, but okay. Um, so I'm gonna let the car deuce chill. I'm gonna let the car warm up for a little bit and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hit the road and then we'll see you when we get there. What you bet they're doing? Nothing. Going through the groceries. Huh? Going through the groceries. Well, I wanted to see what we had. Well, we have stuff to make soup with. Soup? Yeah. Uh, Ain't no cookies and stuff in there. Not right now, we're not. We're about to go back home. All right, y'all, so we got the groceries. Um, they just put them in the um, car. So now we are about to go and get to the house so that way I can start this video. So I'll see y'all when we get back. Hey, y'all, okay, so we are back um, in the house. I did go finish picking up everything that I needed. I'm about to, I'm about to actually check the bag to make sure everything is in here. Um, about to make sure everything is in here so as i'm going through the ingredients you all can go ahead and just make a mental note and i'll make sure that i put what i use um inside the description just a disclaimer i do not measure so when you look at these ingredients in the or the ingredients in the, in the description or you're following the recipe um a lot of the time you're gonna have to kind of season to taste because i do not measure um, so I wouldn't be able to tell you how much of what I use and what, so that I'm not like a professional cook or anything. This is like, you all are going to be getting a, a lot of videos when I do cook, when I do cooking videos, you're going to get a lot of videos where, um, I am giving you all the recipes that my family likes that I make, um, or things that I'm just trying out for the first time, whatever the case may be, but nothing it will ever be use this amount like put this amount one teaspoon of this no, that's not me i'm not gonna even i'm not even gonna hold you that's not me so the first thing i got is some kale so you will need some kale let me clean my camera off y'all hold on for a second i don't know why it looks like this okay so like I was saying, you're gonna need some kale. And then you're gonna need the cheese of your, you can use the cheese of your choice, but I use three different cheese or two different cheeses um, as a, what I'll put on top of it when it's done. Um, so I use Parmesan cheese. So I got the Parmesan, this is fresh grated cheese. I don't like the Parmesan in a little seasoning looking thing i don't like that um so usually i'll end up either getting the one that's in the pack or i'll get freshly grated parmesan but this one is asiago cheese okay so you have two different cheeses i have parmesan and then i have asiago cheese and sometimes depending on how i'm feeling I will put some of the cheese inside of the pot while it's cooking and then I'll I'll grate some cheese on top of my bowl once it's done. So those are the cheeses. 
and then you can leave this out if you want to if you're not really an onion person but this onions wasn't originally wasn't a, it wasn't originally in my um it wasn't in my original recipe that I would make for myself but I like the taste of onions in my soup so I did go ahead and buy some already cut um onions I do not like really cutting onions like that so Nine times out of 10, if it's available, I will get the one that's already um, that's already cut. Okay, so we got that. And then the next thing you'll need is the meat. And I am using the hot version of Italian sausage. So this is Italian sausage and this is the hot version. They do have the Italian sausage where it's already out of the casing. Um, and it's like already ground Italian sausage, but for me, it kind of tastes different and I don't like that one. So I'd like to stick with the regular hot Italian sausage. And because I am, I am going to be making kind of a big pot, I got two of them. So, um, that's what you'll need. You'll need Italian sausage. If you choose to get the if you choose to get the mild version, that is also an option that you can use. But I think that I like the way, I don't, I don't think, I like the way that it tastes when it's the hot version. So, and I keep looking over here, but the camera's over here. Um, but I like the hot version. And then you are going to need some type of broth. So usually I would probably get chicken, but I've been getting the vegetable kind now. And this is the Central Market. This is from HEB. Um, this is the Central Market vegetable broth made with sea salt. So this is the one that I got. And I got two of them just in case I need two of them. Now, when I was doing keto, um, like some years ago, when I, was, when I was doing keto, I would get, instead of me get, so let me, let me go back. I got two things of potatoes okay i might not use both of them okay so but what i was going to say was when i was doing keto and this was one of the recipes that i would make um i would swap out the potatoes and use cauliflower instead it is so good like it is so good but um i'm not doing keto right now so or at all so i decided to <clears throat> i decided to go ahead and get the potatoes all right and then, what is this? I did get some diced garlic. I won't add a lot of garlic, but I'll add like a little dash of garlic in it. Um, what else in here? I don't know why they gave me so many onions, but this is more onions, which I don't need. I don't even think I ordered that. I need to go back and check to make sure I didn't get charged for it. Okay, um, so, and then there's, Three more things. And then the last thing, wait, I'm sorry. One of the last things you'll need is heavy whipping cream. Um, I did get two of them. I'm not gonna use both of them, but I did get two because I do drink coffee in the morning and I put heavy whipping cream on top of it. Um, but heavy whipping cream. And then if you like a little spice to your soup, which I do, um, I always add uh, a habanero inside the soup while it's cooking and then a the very last thing if you are <clears throat> if you want to add some breadsticks with yours my husband likes the garlic breadsticks um i don't i'm not eating bread right now or a lot of carbs for that for that matter so this is going to be mainly for my husband when he gets home from work so those are the ingredients i'm trying to get all of these bags together and then we're about to get to cooking. I'm gonna wash my hands. My my son wants some noodles, so I'll be cooking his noodles in um, my soup at the same time. But you wanna make sure you wash off these potatoes. Um, but I'm not gonna do that right now because the first thing I'm gonna be making would will be cooking up the actual Italian sausage. So um, I'll walk you all through the process of that. If, so before I get started, if you have not already, please like, comment, and subscribe. 
Um, I am trying to get to 1K subscribers before the first of the year. Um, I have so many different goals that I'm trying to hit in 2022. So you all just coming on and just hitting that subscribe button will mean the world to me. So um, if you can't take a moment while I wash my hands, go and click that subscribe button and turn on your bell, your bell notifications because I'm going to be giving y'all some good content. Um, like I said, this channel was just not on one thing, like one, one generalized topic. I'm going to be giving y'all mukbangs. I'm going to be giving y'all story times. We're going to be doing vlogs. We are going to be doing business things because if you don't know, I am launching my own company in 2022 in January, and I'm going to be giving you so many different things. So, um, giving you so much content, things that will help you. Um, it's real, it's really, really important for me because, um, I need everybody to understand that everybody's life is not perfect and you have to start from somewhere. You have to start from somewhere and I don't think a lot of people understand that they just see where, where people are um, after all of the hard work. I want to take you all on a journey with me. Um, because like I said, I've been through bad depression this year alone. Um, I've been through so much and coming out of that, coming out of that and being able to start pressing forward towards the stuff and the goals that you want to hit is really, really important. I need people, I need especially women to see that you can still hit all of your goals. You can still be successful. You can still do all of these things. You just have to pull yourself through depression. You have to pull yourself through everything that life is throwing at you. Um, so I want to just be able to have a community of people who are rooting for each other. And I know, you know, like I, you know, YouTube is going to always, um, YouTube is going to always have those moments and those people that, um, that don't want to see you win. And that's fine. I don't care about none of those people. You know, I care about being able to make an impact in other women's lives that are possibly going through things and they are feeling like they have to suffer suffer through it in silence and you don't so yeah so i'm about to go ahead and get started um i bought this i don't know how it tastes it's called it's habanero ranch dressing so i guess when i have my have me a salad at some point um this week i'll try it to let y'all know how it tastes Okay, so I'm about to reposition my camera and I will be right back. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and get these Italian sausages ready to go. And I have the water boiling for my son's noodles. So like I said, we're going to go ahead and get these. So these come inside of a casing. You want to clip the casing off, whether you're using a knife or whatever. And then you want to be able to separate the meat. I like to chop the meat up before I put it in the pan. Um, so that's what we're about to do. Okay. Pans are already washed. So this is what it, the sausage looks like. Okay. And it has a film on it in case no one was able to see that or knew that for that matter. And you just want to cut the casing off. So I'm using a knife. You want to cut the casing off. And a lot of this, I'm going to fast forward through it because I don't want this video to be too long. But this is what it looks like when you're taking it off. And ladies, when you're washing your hands, please make sure you're getting underneath the nail as well because a lot of um, food and all types of particles that we think that we're getting off just by regularly washing our hands is not getting from under our nails. And um, you wanna make sure that you get that off. I, if anybody did not know, I used to do nails back in the day. Like I'm that, like I'm that old. <laughs> I used to do nails, um, not really my thing anymore. People keep still trying to get me to do their nails, but um, yeah, that used to be something I was that I actually loved doing a long time ago, but not anymore. Not anymore. Okay, so that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to go ahead and spend this time getting this done, and then we're gonna throw it in a pot. Um, 
And I'm gonna, I'm gonna be right back with y'all. I'm gonna use my business line um, camera to record what it looks like inside the pan. You know what I mean? So that will work. So we're gonna use, we're gonna go ahead and add this in. You'll take all of it. And like I said, um, like I said, some of them I had already cut up, so that's why some of them look like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get some footage. y'all also you want to make sure I know a lot of people don't like to um, I know some people like to drain the meat or the juices that's inside the pan after they're done I personally do not do that when it comes to my soup um, this particular one because I like the flavor that that the juice has um, or that it has so much flavor in it. So I don't, I don't drain the, um, the fat or the liquid that comes from the sausages. Like I keep that in the pan. So if you are someone that likes to drain yours while you're making it, then by all means, go ahead and do that. But I, I personally don't. So I'm gonna let this cook for a little bit and then once it's cooked and I'm almost cooked, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start um, dicing up the actual sausages that's in there um, to make them where it's smaller. So now that the uh, chicken is on, with my chicken, Jesus Christ. Now that the sausages is um, almost done, if not done done, um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add in the onions. Like I said, if you don't like onions, go ahead and skip this part. Like I said, it's personal preference. So um, do what you like. If you don't like onions, don't add it, but I like onions. And I'm actually going to add in the second little container that they gave me. I'm going to add that in. And at this point, it's just about adding in stuff. Because the main thing, which is the 
um, which was, was the sausage, um, is literally what probably takes the longest. Every, once you get the sausage and everything done, everything else goes by really, really quick. So it's just, just a matter of you just adding everything into the pot. Um, it's just a matter of you adding everything to the pot. And like I said, these sausages, um, I could have got them a little bit smaller if I really wanted to, but it's not really that big of a deal for me. Um, Honestly, it's probably just because I really don't feel like adding. I'm, I'm really hungry. Um, I haven't eaten all day. So, but if you want to take the time to either get the ground Italian sausage, or if you want to take the time to actually cut the Italian sausages um, in half, or cut them up so that way you get the smaller, um, the smaller pieces, then that's perfectly fine. But for me right now, I don't have time for it. It's perfectly fine the way that it is. What I'm about to do right now is um, I'm about to get the potatoes washed and then those are something that I normally cut in half, um, which I am gonna do. I'm gonna cut those in half, but I'm gonna cut those in half, um, gonna get them washed, cut them in half, and then once that's done, I'm gonna then add in the cream, the heavy whipping cream, the vegetable broth, um, and then the potatoes and then probably once that cooks for a little bit then i'll go back and then i'll make sure that the kale is washed off and i add the kale if you don't like kale don't add it personal preference like i said um do what you what you you know add what you want to add the thing about it is i got my inspiration for this soup from olive garden because they have a soup there that's one of my favorite soups um and during the pandemic um, we really didn't go out that much and the Olive Garden that was close to my house was always closed. So, um, I ended up learning how to make it myself, but I started making little changes to the way that I like for my food to taste. So, you know, do what, add and do what you feel is going to make you happy with what you're making because you're the one that got to eat it. But the way that I make my soup is legit the bomb. So I will try it first before you try to make any changes to it. But like I said, you know, do what you feel makes you happy when it comes to what you're eating. So, matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add the heavy whipping cream and the vegetable broth now. And while that's cooking, then I'll go ahead and I'll get the potatoes and stuff um, cut up and everything. So, and keep in mind the size of your pot because this, once you start adding things to it, it's gonna rise. So I can't really add too much of anything in this pan because I don't want it to, um, to overflow. Okay, so that's the that's the heavy whipping cream. Now I'm opening up the vegetable broth. And I usually just add the whole container. Um, to the vegetable broth. Okay, so while that's warm, while that's getting together, I and then I also, um, if I feel like it's not thick enough after I add the vegetable broth, I'll go back and I'll add some more heavy whipping cream to it. Um, but like I said, you want to make sure that you're making it the way that you're going to eat it. I like my, my soups to be a little creamy. So if it's not creamy enough, I'll go back and I'll add some heavy whipping cream to it. So 
So I got the potatoes washed off. Um, because the pot is not that big, I'm not going to use all of these potatoes. Um, I'm probably just going to go ahead and whatever I don't use, I'll use it tomorrow for my meal prep for the week. So, um, if you don't see me cut all the potatoes, that's the reason why. Um, tomorrow morning when I do my meal prep I'll just go ahead and um, drizzle them with some olive oil or some avocado oil and add some salt and pep some pepper some rosemary and stuff to it and that'll be my um, part of my meal prep for the week um, so now that that's done we're gonna stir it and then we're gonna get ready to add in the seasonings Okay, so the first thing first, we're going to use some salt, and this, um, this is accent salt. So it's low sodium, so it's not going to have like that salty flavor, and plus the vegetable, uh, the vegetable broth, um, has pink Himalayan sea salt in it, not pink Himalayan. Um, we're gonna add in some onion powder. And then later on, if you need to add any more seasonings, then you can go ahead and add more um, to like, you know, to put it to the way that you like the taste or whatever. But this is garlic powder. And then this is some pepper. And then I add a little bit of red pepper flakes. Like I said, I like my soup to be a little bit spicy. But you could, you could not add that if you don't want it on there and then um the habanero pepper i always make sure i add that in this what's it this is what it looks like so i'm gonna go ahead and wash these off and then i'll get them added Again, like I said, you do not have to add it if you do not want to. What I'm going to do is add a little bit more of the heavy whipping cream because it's not to the creamy consistency that I would like it to be at.
One second. Rinsed off the um, I just rinsed off the kale, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and add that in now, and then I'm gonna put the top over it. Um, but I'm not gonna put it all the way over it because I need it to steam, or it's gonna boil over. So that's how you make it. Um, that's how you make it. The soup. Um, once I come, once it's um, pretty much done, I'll come back and I'll start adding in the cheeses that I add to it, um, and I'll bring you back. I'll start bring you back so you can see that. But other than that, that's pretty much how you do it. I'm gonna spend this time right now. Um, cleaning up my space um, but once it com once it's almost done I'll come back and I'll show y'all what it looks like um, and then we're gonna go ahead and get a taste test then we're gonna plate it up we're gonna get a taste test and then we're going to call this vlog a day um, but other than that I'll see y'all in a little bit Okay, y'all, so we're back, and it's pretty much done. Um, I have it plated up or put in a bowl, which I'll show you a little clip of what that looks like when I put it in a bowl. Um, the last thing that I need to do is pretty much just add the cheese. So um, I really, I'm, I'm going to go, go ahead and top it with the Parmesan cheese. Um, and that's going to be pretty much it. I'll do a taste test while you're on the camera with me. I already know it's fine, so I really don't even really need to taste it, you know? But <laughs> I'll show y'all me do a little taste test. Okay. It's hot. Mm. Woo, that is so good. Mm, mm, mm. That is so good. Okay, I'm out, y'all. I'm gonna go eat. And once my husband gets off, I'll warm his breadsticks up, make his make his bowl, and then he can eat dinner. But I'm about to go and do some work um, and eat my, eat, my, eat my soup. So, like I said, thank you so much for spending um, your time with me right now or today. Um, like I said, when, if you try it, go ahead and drop in the comments um, when you try it, how it tastes, your opinion. Um, what did you do differently? Let, let, me, let me know what you're doing when you make this soup. Um, but don't forget to like, please comment, please subscribe. Um, and I will see y'all on the next video. Talk to y'all later.